The Polynesian. Shout out to Heath, the security here at the Polynesian. He watches the videos. Cool guy. Nothing but Hawaiian feels right now at the moment. Here's kind of what I'm wearing. We got our crew slash Hawaiian shirt, obviously because we're at the Polynesian, but the weather is perfect. The sunset is perfect. We are having a Hawaiian night. This is one of my favorite resorts to go to off camera, similar to the Wilderness Lodge that I visit often off camera for food. I'm going to show you guys what we do here. We have fun. It is going to be a fun night because it's kind of like a date night in a way. That's my car. I didn't know my car had an alarm, but apparently it has an alarm. Okay. Cool. It scared the crap out of me. Still learning my car, apparently. Aloha, everybody, though. Welcome to the Polynesian. I think the first time, or sorry, the last time we were here, well, I don't think I took you guys. I came actually the night that we flew in from Hawaii. So right when I landed, I came to the Polynesian. I think that was off camera. I think I posted it on my Instagram. Nothing but palm trees, good weather, and a nice sunset. 50th anniversary banners are still up. Those aren't gonna come down. We kind of covered that yesterday at the Magic Kingdom around March. That's where we're gonna see all that stuff come down in 2023. However, we also are here to check out some of the construction currently going on at the Polynesian. Before some of my people get here, we're gonna head on over there and uh, check out the construction of the new hotel, the DVC hotel, that is gonna be in addition to the Polynesian. Let's go check out that construction. Because usually one of the perks of staying here at the Polynesian is being able to freely kind of walk to the Polynesian. However, since they've uh, been constructing that hotel, there is uh, quite the bit of a reroute here at the Polynesian. So there's a big heads up for those staying at Polynesian, staying at Shades of Green, and then also if you're kind of park hopping, and wanting to go to the hotels. It's just good to know about this. Monorail! I have also been really wanting to stay at the Polynesian, but it's just one of those resorts that's so hard to get into. So very hard. Ideally as well, at the Polynesian, it's usually a good place to watch the fireworks. However, tonight it's a Mickey's not so scary, so those fireworks aren't gonna be until like 10.30, 10.15. Not the normal time. We would have been able to catch that, but I don't think we're going to be here that late. Hello. I have a question. Do you guys have a wait time? Yeah, I'm going to get a second. Just put my name down for Trader Sam's inside. It's a two hour wait, but usually I kind of go out there, but we'll see if we can get in there. But we're going to go this way, acting like we're walking to the Grand Floridian because this is where the new hotel is going to be. We can no longer go this way and this is actually kind of a big development too because there's a private beach over here and there's also really good viewings for the fireworks but look at this actually the way disney's kind of themed this this fence is they've actually put like trees on the on the this is different look at this the refurb walls it's just like a normal fence but i like how they actually have printed like trees on it it makes it really immersive actually. But we can't go this way any longer. So I uh, wanna show you just a heads up what's kinda going on here and the way you have to go. And check this out, no photography or video recording unless authorized. They're starting to do that because a lot of people like to kinda put their cameras you know, over the fence. But it's kinda weird just because you can actually see it from the monorail. But I'm obviously not going to be doing that because they have a sign there that says no photography. But let me show you the way you have to go now. Also, what's going over here is like the new DVC hotel. It's the new Polynesian Tower. Don't know how many stories it's going to be, but it's going to be taking where the luau, unfortunately, was. I love that luau. It was really fun. Although the food wasn't like top-notch quality that I feel like you have at the hoop doo But regardless, it was still a great show. One of a kind. For the longest time as well, this area actually had some reefer walls up as well. See this bridge? We have a concrete update in this video. This right here um, was under construction for the longest time. I think they were doing stuff underneath, but they also 
have put this here. It's kind of like a new addition. This whole area. Don't know what they did. Looks like nothing. I think it was more underneath. Maybe they did this? I mean, it looks new, obviously. It's new concrete, but let's head this way because this is the new way. Walkway to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort on Spa. Ooh, more of a themed fence. They actually took all of this down when the hurricane was around. They're doing some work over here. They're working pretty late here today. Now, if you actually look over here, I've never covered this before, but I kind of talked about it yesterday with the expansion of the freeway that's gonna reroute traffic around Disney World. That's where it's gonna be going. Half of that golf course has closed down and they're transitioning it into another road that's gonna go that way. Like the way you guys have to walk. It's kind of less magical. You know, it's not a beachfront. But, um, yeah, you can kind of see where you have to go. Grand Floridian's over there, and you actually have to cross this road. I don't want to walk it. My, uh, my friends are actually here, so we got to go meet up with them. I haven't really seen anybody cover that, but just a heads up, this is kind of like a new way that you have to go if you want to walk to the Grand Floridian. So just be weary of that. I'm just happy that they didn't cancel it. However, you could argue against that because of the fact that a lot of people like the spirit of Aloha, but I really do feel like Disney needs more hotels in a way, but then you can argue Disney needs more parks because the parks are getting more crowded. You know, double-edged sword kind of thing. If any of you guys have stayed here when this construction was ongoing, comment down below if it really was a big, big deal for you or was it exciting because you never get to kind of walk that way. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys have stayed here or what are you guys' thoughts and opinions on the reroute. Nothing you can really do about it, but just like the new way. Monorail's still open, which is a good thing. Remember when that bad boy was closed here at the Polynesian? That probably was worse when they were redoing the monorail. Let's head on into uh, the Poly Lobby. Follow me. Somehow I missed that Kona Cafe is actually down for refurbishment. It's been down since August, I believe, and we don't really know what really is going on, but you can actually still order breakfast to go. So they have refurb walls up and they also have drapes, which makes me think that they're actually doing like some sawing because they don't want some sawdust to spill into the air. But uh, yeah, Kona Cafe, it's down, but you can still kind of order it. And I think you order it over here at Kona Island, right there. Kona Cafe, I guess we'll find out what's happening inside there. Does anybody know the code? Or we could just punch it in and head on in. I feel like even if I did know the code, I wouldn't go in, but you know, that was just me trying to be funny. Ha ha ha, good joke, right? Found a piece of merchandise that I've actually never seen before. It's a seven piece hospitality set. You get this and that for a lovely price of a hundred dollars. Thoughts? Just a heads up, I am with some people right now, but we're all off camera. I don't think we're gonna be eating inside Trader Sam's just because of the two hour wait. I think we wanna hop on over the Grand Floridian as well. So we're just gonna go to the outside seating, which is nice because there's music, but there might not be any seats. Out here you seat yourself, however, it's actually pretty crowded. I don't know why, because it's actually a really nice place. So we just gotta sit here and wait now. The third plan is to go to the outdoor bar, the grab and go window where you can just order drinks. So what we're gonna do, we'll probably walk around for a bit and come back for some snacks. I think we're okay with this right now at the moment because there doesn't seem to be too many servers out here. So I feel like we'd be here for about like an hour and a half and we kind of want to like walk around and show you guys everything. So this Trader Sam like to go window is kind of the vibe right now. You had them in a pearl. Of course, question, are we sitting down? Put those straws in. One, two, and two other drinks. I don't know what happened, but apparently we just bought like a zombie glass mug for $11. I was like, why is the bill so expensive? I didn't want to say anything because like, hey, I guess we get a souvenir, but we actually have to go to Trader Stands to pick that up the inside route. So let's go check out a mug. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to purchase, but I purchased. Hey. Is there another way around? Che cheers to our mugs. All right, let's check out our mug. By the way, this is super duper strong. The zombie head is ridiculously strong. It's got some uh, bubble wrap on it, but oh my God. This is actually really cool. $11 zombie head mug, and it's rather fitting for the times, obviously, because it's Halloween, but check it out. Pretty cool, and I know there's different colors as well because they're like kind of like collectible items, but it's like my third Trader Sam's mug. Most inexpensive one too, by the way. Fourth edition. Like how dope is this? It is so cool, I don't know. Maybe just because I mistakenly bought it, I just like it even more now. But um, all right. <sighs> On second thought, I don't really recommend this drink. It's kind of horrible, but if you like Long Islands, you'll like this drink because it's worse than a Long Island. It gets you going. Technically, Jojo is supposed to be here already. He's running a little late. This was supposed to be like a double date, but it's not going as planned. But it's okay because we're kind of just chilling and walking around, drinking our drinks. Talk about a Hawaiian sunset. This kind of counts. Oh my goodness. Last time I think we were here as well, they were redoing this concrete. This is all brand stinking new. Why did they do it? I have no idea. I feel like they're just like up in their game with the Polynesian right now. Polly is getting transformed into, I guess, a better resort than we thought it already was. And if you happen to wonder why I always do concrete updates, name a better place in the world that does a better job at Disney than doing or then, then blah, 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 blah. Name a better place in the world than uh, Disney that does a better job at pouring concrete. Nowhere. Nowhere. And here's a look at the closed pathway from the Poly to uh, the Grand Floridian. As you can kind of see right here, that's all closed off. That's where we would normally be able to walk, but we can't. And also, I think there's a wedding right now. There's a lot of action going down at uh, the wedding pavilion. We've got one lonely chair. I think this is for all the single riders out here. Anybody single out here? Any single riders? Should I take that spot? Am I single? I don't know, guys. I don't know. You know, I love coming here, but every time I do, I just am always reminded I've never stayed at the Poly Bungalows. Definitely a uh, bucket list item here at Disney World. I think we'll do it sometime, but they're like 2,000 a night, so one day we'll be here. One day. But I prefer to stay at the Wilderness Cabins before at the Poly Bungalows. While we still have some sunlight, one of my favorite spots at the Polynesian, which overlooks the Magic Kingdom, it's kind of on a hill. You guys are looking at it right now. Imagine, I don't know if Disney's weddings do this, but imagine a wedding up here at night right now. That'd be beautiful. Like this to me feels kind of like Alani. Polynesian music playing in the background. It's beautiful. Also, this is like the first time I watched when uh, a happy ever after came back after COVID. This is where I first watched it. I'll never forget that. Oh my goodness. Do you? No. Well, come join. Sure. Where are you going? I gotta put this away. The whole gang is Can here. Can you tell which one's JoJo? Here we go. Walking back inside for the second time. Just as magical though. It's like we're back at Alani. Right, JoJo? See, JoJo's in his shirt. Look at that. Look huh? at that. Look at that. The man, the myth, the legend. It's I, Jonathan Crichton. Time to get to drink. All right. Let's do it. Round number dos. Also, um, apparently that blue zombie mug is very new, like a month ago. So we technically got a new mug. Comment down below, what's your bid? I'll eBay it to you. I'm just kidding. But a lot of people do, but I don't. Two more and we got a pearl, but without the pearl because we have so many pearls already. 
When I get a house next year, I'm gonna open a bar and I'm gonna serve all my drinks in the pearls. This is a chugger. It is so good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I forgot the cheers. I'm so sorry, guys. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Woo! The drink is already gone. She is fill in the blank. We are crossing. See, we have to cross this, this street like twice. We put safety on for the lights. See, look at that. So this is a little behind the scenes of vlogging. I had to put down my drink, take my camera, and film. Made it to the Grand Floridian. About to walk past the wedding pavilion. Actually, right now we are. Well, unfortunately, no one can really just walk on into the wedding pavilion anymore. They lock the gates now, but um, this is as far as you can go during the day. It's still kind of cool to see, though. How magical. To get married at Disney. I really wish. Well, we're only here for one reason, and I think a lot of you guys can know that. We're here for the one and only Victoria and Alberts. We are dining so big tonight. No, we're going to the Enchanted Rose. I was about to say I'm leaving. I don't got that kind of money. Enchanted Rose. We're going to the Enchanted Rose. I've been trying to dine at Victoria and Alberts, but those uh, reservations are just like not existing. I wish you guys were here to experience how perfect it is right now. It is like perfect out. It's about like 70 degrees. Actually, let me check. 78. It's it's literally perfect. All right, let's go to the Enchanted Rose. It's like it's not like. Inside the Grand Floridian, they usually do this, but I didn't know they were gonna do it for Halloween, but check this out. So cool. We've got the hearse over here as well. I love it. It's super packed in here, but thank you to JoJo's world because he will uh, do anything to get sat. Yep, I made sure that we found the table. All right, the drinks and the food. I was gonna say you're so my, my go-to's here at the Enchanted <laughs> Rose. You gotta get the truffle fries, and then we're also going to get, this is not in focus, let me focus. There we go, I think that's a lot better. Is it better? There we go. We're also gonna get the flatbread. Delicious, it's so good. I'm getting a mule, and then who I'm with, is getting a lavender frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Frog. Get it? Fog. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got two espresso martinis here. It smells like a cruise. We're gonna need to do one next month, or like five of them. Kyle, that lavender frog? No. Lavender fog, and what's this drink? That's Moscow the mule. Fog. Moscow mule. Cheers, ladies and gents. Cheers! This lavender frog fog is actually delicious. Kind of tastes like milk. I got three. Too heavy for me. I need you. I truly believe these are the best fries on Disney property. Like, I can't name any other fries better than this. They're, they're literally the best. A fan meets me. Hello. I'll be right back. I forgot the aioli. I'll come right back. No worries. Thank you. How's it going over there, Jojo? Is it like a Disney cruise? No, they have the espresso martinis on the cruise ship. We love to drink with Jojo because Jojo is our mate. And when we drink with Jojo, he gets it down in eight. What a night. What a night. 
It's always fun being with Kyle. It's been a second since I've been on the vlog. Good to see you guys. It has. We, we live with each other. And we just do our own things. Yeah. But with that, we're out of here. I think Judge is staying though. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll see. We'll see.